Some citizens are dealing with the after effects of the recent inclement weather. Over the past few days, St. Lucia has experienced heavy rainfall, which led to major land slippages in some parts of the island. Last week, one of the retaining walls at Rose Hill Castries came crumbling down due to heavy rains associated with the passage of tropical systems. Residents are beseeching the authorities to help mitigate the impact of the potential hazards posed by the collapse. Structure. Friday, about 5, 5.30, while we was inside, we heard the noise, but we didn't expect what's at all. After 7, 7.30, that's the time we come out and we noticed half of the world gone out due to the weather. So it's very bad, actually. I had some plants, potatoes, and all these things fall. So we asked in authority or whoever in charge if they can assist us with it because it's very dangerous right now because the soil, actually, as you can see, the soil is so soft right now. I will not say we are scared, but anything else can happen because um, the whole wall, as you can see, is just full of. Residents are worried about the fate of nearby homes. It's, it's already, it's going to fall because it's already eaten up, all the dust already eaten up underneath it and it cracked and I'm afraid it fall into the house. And the wall on the side, it fall already, so we, I'm scared about it. What, what would you like to see happen? I would like if one of the ministers could assist us to come and see it and to just assist us, please. The Rose Hill residents hope that the parliamentary representative for the area will come to their aid. The latest weather event, dubbed the Tropical Cyclone 2, dumped showers and stirred up blustery winds as it passed well south of the island, triggering landslides and flash floods in parts of the country. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, continues to advise citizens to up their preparations for any eventuality during the hurricane season and take heed of the warnings and recommendations of credible sources and local authorities. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.